Hello everyone. Um, this is a series that we're going to try to bring to you. I don't know if it's going to be, if it's going to work or not, but we want to do a walking chat, a spiritual chat as we walk around our property and just enjoy nature. So it's a little windy over here. To show you the view, obviously we've had a snowstorm come in. Woo! Windy, let's go this way. So basically, Tara's just going to chat with you guys. Well, we just did a channeling of Elon Musk, and we've channeled him before, but we didn't record it. And so we figured that maybe this is something people need to hear. <laughs> and um, wow, like at one point, his soul was in me. And it's like, he just wanted to take over and just start talking because apparently I wasn't doing a good enough job. And the ego. The ego on that guy. On him is so, it's so huge. Like I literally, every once in a while I have uh, something called tachycardia and PVCs, which is uh, er, premature ventricular contraction. So it's like I skip a beat. And my heart doesn't normally have issues but it did when he was in there. Like my heart space was just like so closed off and so upset with me because <laughs> my heart space is never closed off. So to have something in there that's devoid of connection to the heart is not good for me. So we had to check. I mean, I was kind of like, so was like, okay, you're all done. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that was a lower timeline. I guess you would call a leader. He thinks he's a leader of the lower timeline, essentially. He thought he was not just God, he thought he was better than God and didn't see humanity as being God as well. Like that we're all just a bunch of like stupid, helpless beings and we could never be as smart and as great as him. Like he brings us the information. He's going to bring us eternal life through his AI, right. you know, that he's going to improve upon what God couldn't do, which is making people eternal, not knowing that we are eternal, but he's so not connected. So he thinks that once you're dead, you're dead. Like that's it. Yeah, I, I, I asked him, tell me one thing that comes from your heart space and he couldn't do it. All he could say is I am the best. <laughs> it's like, no, that doesn't come from your heart space, sir. That's your ego. It's like people are basically as smart as him. People don't know all the things that he does. You know what he lets you know. It's kind of like his thing. It's like, you only know because I told you. Right. It's like, it's like he, he has all the answers. And, you know, and that he's advanced humanity more than any human. Well, advance them towards transhumanism. Well, to him, that's that's the best thing for us. Yeah, because he's uh, on the lower timeline. Yeah, so... Yeah, that was interesting. It definitely lowered our mood for the day. Yeah, and it's so pretty. Uh, <laughs> I have my mood all lowered. Yeah, talk about this snow. Let's keep walking here. <laughs> Look at this. It's fresh as the freshly driven snow. <laughs> it's very sparkly. Yeah. Like, it really does sparkle in the... So my question is, how does this weather, snow, uh, affect your intuition? Um, Keep walking. I'll well, first, it's like I have to stop being cold. Because otherwise, I'm so focused on being cold, I can't connect. But once I'm, I was connected, it was like, well, actually, once I was bringing down Source, Source warmed me up so that I stopped thinking that it was cold. Um, The channeling was different. I just don't know how to explain how. Like, um, well, usually somebody doesn't really jump in that easily and just start taking over and talking without me letting them. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe it was a little too easy for something to do that. You're too wide open? Yeah, a little too open. Oh. Interesting. So, the cold is a distraction, is what you're saying? Um, a little bit. But I'm locked in. I'm pretty warm, because 
because I do heat up when I channel. What made this? Those are some sort of tracks. That looks like a tail. What is that? Um, it might be a deer dragging its feet, maybe. A deer? Well, naturally, I want to follow it. Is it going this way or the other way? Yeah. Um, this snow's deep. Look at this. My foot is in there. <laughs> It just snowed a couple hours ago. These are fresh tracks, whatever those are. I think it's a deer. What a weird track. Oh yeah, we should tell them about the weirdness we heard outside the RV. Yeah, tell them. So this is the sun went down. What did you hear? Starting to get dark and we were listening to the wind, you know, the wind was howling out there and then then there was a lull, and then it, it sounded like an animal. I'm not sure, like scraping along the RV, but it seemed to be coming from like dual, like stereo. Like it was here, but no, it was here, and then it was back here, and it was here, and there was like crunching sound, like it's eating or walking. I don't know. We looked out the window, we didn't see anything, and then I went out there, <laughs> and there was still nothing. There was no tracks. Well, Tara, in all her wisdom, decided to put a pumpkin right outside our RV steps. Okay, well, I moved it. Well, let me finish the story. <laughs> and neither of us thought much of it. You know, it's just a pumpkin. It's, it's solid season. Until one day we come out and there's a little bite in the pumpkin. I'm like, oh, how cute, a little bite. We had a little visitor. The next day, the bite's a little bigger. <laughs> The next day, the bite's a little bigger. So we have this returning visitor coming to snack on pumpkin until maybe the fourth night, we look down at some tracks. And what tracks did you find? Mountain lion. Our, we have a female mountain lion in this area, so. There's a mountain lion that lives right there. Tara is now feeding it, and it's now coming up to our RV for little nibbles. <laughs> well, I moved the pumpkin. Yeah, she moved the pumpkin, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> We literally have a mountain lion coming to us every night right up to our doorstep. Uh, so I got, uh, you know, <laughs> don't leave home without it. <laughs> My American Express card. Um, so yeah, we've had a lot of visitors through the nights and uh, we can only hope it's just a mountain lion because there's other things around here too, such as bears. Well, I'm looking around for tracks and stuff. Uh, but oh yeah, so before that incident happened though, my ears were ringing really bad, like really bad. And then, then we hear this weird noise. It sounds like weird echo, location, animal. I don't know. And then my, and then once it was gone, my ringing stopped in my ears. So. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe the snow will help us with the tracks. Although we're stomping all over the snow here. Yeah, that's deer, right? Yeah. Um, and I think some of the bigger... Elk. Interesting. Well, that's cool. I don't mind herbivores hanging out. As long as they're herbivores, <laughs> we don't mind them. Alright, so be sure to go check out that Elon Musk channeling. I assume we'll release this after, so they can go watch it. Um, snow apparently helps you open up to your intuition a little bit. I think it helps directly. Okay. More easily, like when something actually wants to just be in there. And um, don't feed the mountain lions. Don't feed the mountain lions. Kind of the, the gist of this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, do you have any last things you want to say? I mean, no, you want to just let know. nature do the talking here? Actually, I don't really know where we are now because it's all, it looks different when it's covered in snow. So the property doesn't have its normal landmarks. Now that you mention it, I don't know where we are either. Yeah, everything just looks white, huh? Um, well, we can follow our tracks. No big deal. Yeah. There's the guy building his house over there. Yeah. Basically, just go uphill. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys are interested in seeing more walking chats with spiritual, spiritual uh, hikes like this, let us know, and uh, we'll make this a regular series if you guys want. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>